Mauler Misfit. What's up guys this is your boy Lowell's thank you for tuning in to Motor Misfit I really appreciate you guys coming back and seeing the videos if this is your first time here we uh, provide a type R DIY and just South Florida car culture content so if you like this please press like please subscribe please comment and please click that bell icon that's all I ask for also, if you're into podcasts and hearing about cars, definitely check out the Motor Misfit podcast on your favorite podcast platform, whether it's Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Slacker, um, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. It's all good. You'll find us there. Check it out. Lastly, please check out the Motor Misfit um, site, motormisfit.com, and watch the videos. You could listen to the podcast and you can get in contact with me. So check that out. Really appreciate it, guys. Let's get into today's video. By the way, I am in a garage and it is hot. And by hot, I mean that it's very full of car people. These dudes were really cool right here. A uh, nice little Mercedes, a nice WRX. So shout out to them. Didn't catch their name, but they're cool as hell. And, you know, you just got to love car enthusiasts. You know, so today's video is about an exhaust comparison and versus, right? I've had the liberty of owning two 2017 Type Rs. I had a crystal black pearl one and I have my championship white Type R, the Misfit R over here. So there's more car enthusiasts coming up. <laughs> so on both Type Rs, I had different aftermarket exhausts. Now on the Crystal Black Pearl, I had a MXB Comp RS. On this white type bar, I have a Remus Sport Exhaust. So different exhausts, different price range, and let's talk about it, let's get into them. 2017 Crystal Black, Bur Black Pearl, sorry, uh, type bar. I had to do my research. It came fully stock. Um, I had to do my research seeing what exhausts were out there because quite honestly I did not like the sound that the stock exhaust made. I feel it was way too quiet and I wanted something different. So I got to working, got to seeing, um, reading and looking up information online and talking to people and what I came up with was that the price for the Type R exhausts are freaking crazy compared to what I had on my Mustang which a V8 Mustang exhaust was probably, I don't know, at the high point, $1,500, $2,000, but there weren't that many. Most of them were under $1,500. Um, a lot of them were under $1,000. So, and these were great quality exhausts that sounded great as well. So you could understand how I was a little thrown off by the price. So I also saw that a lot of them had lot of drone and I've been in cars with drone I've actually owned a car with a lot of drone before and basically it sucks when there's a lot of drone it's kind of unbearable to drive right so with the Civic Type R you know that a lot of the exhausts have a crap load of drone and I wasn't looking for that so I narrowed it down to three things what's my budget how loud do I want it to be and can I stand a little bit of drone and lastly is it a reputable company and does it have good build quality right these are the three factors that I looked at when I was researching exhaust and as I was doing my research I always kept coming up with or seeing the MXP comp RS exhaust Right, so this is an exhaust that I've never heard of. But after doing some research, I see that Mackin Industries, which is who makes that exhaust, is actual is actually a reputable company in exhaust, and they're the ones that make that. So I know the build quality was there. Now, 
The one bad thing about that exhaust is that there were hardly any sound clips about it. All you saw was pictures and that's really it. It was cheap, it was under a thousand dollars. I got it for, I think like 835 on sale, but you can find them for like nine something, eight something. I actually seen one for 680 if it's still there. They were, um, they were on clearance, so I think they were trying to get rid of them. At that point, I believe it's MA, MA Performance that had that, so it might still be available. It's a nice exhaust. It had a great exhaust note. My thing with that exhaust is that it had drone. It did have drone. So the reason I got to that exhaust is because obviously the price was well under my price range. The only under contender, or it had a few contenders, but only one under that was the Gretti exhaust, but I heard that has crazy drone. The thermal R&D has crazy drone, I heard. So then I was also looking at the HKS, Legamax, and S, no, Spec L, right? So these are exhausts that I was looking. It was around that price range. So I ended up on the MXP because I finally got to hear a sound clip. A guy on one of the Type R forums on Facebook pulled it, put it up, and I asked him about the drone. And he said, it's not that bad. It's just a little bit of drone in the 3500 to 4500 range which hey i think i could live with and i purchased that exhaust got it installed and let's go to a clip Again, that was on my previously owned um, 2017 Crystal Black Barrel Type R. Now, I didn't have anything else on that car. Well, exhaust wise, right? Didn't have a front pipe, didn't have a down pipe. That was just fully the exhaust. So the exhaust note was really good on that car. I really liked it. Now, I personally driving could stand a drone. It sucked to do vi YouTube videos because you would hear it in the background, but also my passengers in the back seat if i had any passengers in the back seat they hated it me in the front seat driving the car wouldn't really notice it but they did if you don't care about drone and you're just looking for exhaust note then hey if you're trying to stay under a thousand dollars it's a good exhaust right it's good build quality very very good in the exhaust note it was deep it wasn't too raspy um, I don't know how it is with a downpipe or front pipe, but overall, I would recommend that exhaust if you're trying to stay under the $1,000 range. Now, fast forward to March of 2020, and my white Civic Type R, I purchased it with the Remus Sport exhaust that it came with it. Now, if you know about this exhaust, Remus makes a lot of exhaust for different types of cars, OEM and um, aftermarket. So Remus is a great brand. They have a lot of good build quality. Now, let's cut to one clip. Let's go to one clip real quick. <laughs> On that clip, what I wanted you to see is that's how I bought the car, right? It has nothing else done to it. It was just the Remus exhaust. The car was fully stock other than that exhaust, right? And right off the bat, it sounded nice. You know, it wasn't too loud, but if you know about Remus exhaust, you know that this is a valved exhaust, which means that it comes with a sound controller. The controller changes the sound, obviously, of the car by opening and closing the valve. Now, the valve, you can control it to see you know, how high you want it to be, how loud you want it to be, and so on. Now, that controller alone is like six or $700. This did not come with it. So this is just the exhaust, which I think is like $1,800 around there, 16 to $2,000, depending where you get it. 
without the sound controller. So right now, this exhaust is fully closed or that clip that you've seen, the exhaust was fully closed. Since then, I've added a PRL front pipe and down pipe and I already have it on the car. Now, that made the exhaust a lot louder. The car sounds amazing. I would like it just a tiny bit louder, but am I willing to actually put in six, $700 just to make it a tiny bit louder? I don't know. So that's the only other thing. But overall, the Remus exhaust is a really, really good exhaust. Would I buy it? I don't, it, it was over my budget. So quite honestly, if this car didn't come with it already, I probably wouldn't buy it because $1,600, $1,800, yeah. Not something I would do just for an exhaust, right? So if that is in your budget, if your budget is around $2,000, and this is a great exhaust. It's not as expensive as the Army Tricks, which I think is another valve exhaust or another sound control exhaust but it's still really good. There is no drone absolutely on this. And remember, I have the down pipe and the front pipe. So this is actually a really good exhaust. And let's go to a clip right now. But remember, with down pipe, with front pipe. depends on your budget and what you're willing to live with one thing I do have to say about the Remus exhaust hasn't happened to me because I obviously don't have the sound controller but one thing I have heard is that some of them do mess up and the sound controller or the valve actually breaks so the sound controller doesn't work with it anymore you'll have to get that fixed or get a new exhaust which kind of sucks because you already spent two thousand dollars on it so I've heard that from a few people, but hasn't happened to me, hasn't happened to anybody that I know. I think this is just stuff that I've seen like on Civic X or on the uh, different Type R forums. So just watch out for that or at least be aware of that. It could happen, but other than that, the exhaust to me has been great. Would I buy it? If my price range was in the $2,000 range, Yes, I would definitely buy it. I would actually try to raise it up a little bit and try to get the sound controller just so I would be able to control that. Now, other than that, I wouldn't buy it, quite honestly. I would probably stay in the $1,000 to $1,500 range. That's my price range. Now, the Remus exhaust is a good exhaust if you're trying to go for that more high-end exhaust. If you're trying to stay under $1,000, the MXP exhaust is a great exhaust as well. I loved it when I had it, other than that little bit of drone. So again, didn't affect me, but it affected my passengers in the back seat. Well guys, that is my review, that is my verses, and hopefully you guys found this content beneficial to you. Please like, subscribe, comment, uh, click that bell icon, check out motormisfit.com, and check out the podcast on your podcasting platform, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, um, Spotify, and all those other ones. Check it out. Thank you for tuning in. Peace out.